Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Stacy Scott, and I am the Marketing and Client Relations Coordinator here at Wickham Financial and Insurance Services. I'm here with Graham Wickham, President and CEO of Wickham Financial and Insurance Services, and we're ready for our weekly wrap-up. Graham, over the past week or so, we have seen increased volatility in the market, and it seems to be getting worse. I'm not sure if it's because of the geopolitical events. What can you... Tell us, what, shed some light on this for us. Well, I think it has a, a lot. Thank you, Stacey. I think it has a lot to do with geopolitical events. You got to think about, you know, uh, we were already going to get into a market that was going to have a challenging year over year comparables in terms of demand, possible earnings, you know, inflation is high, anxiety is high. And then you throw a, a horrible event uh, happening or unfolding. Uh, in the Ukraine with the invasion of Russia uh, or Russia invading Ukraine. And that that causes more anxiety. It's going to cause more inflation. You know, think about it. Russia supplies 50 percent of Europe's oil. Um, that is massive. They're hugely dependent on that. So what is that? What is that causing? That's causing inflation for those commodities to go up. It's causing more fear, which might cause the consumer, not just to mention corporations, to maybe pull back or lower their demand uh, for goods and services. You lower the demand, inflation goes up, then we're talking stagflation. So I'm not trying to paint an overly negative picture, but yeah, there's some real challenges out there. And as we mentioned to everyone, you've been on these calls, you've been a client of ours, you know, we've been saying, listen, this year is going to be a lot more challenging, a lot more volatile. Um, doesn't mean we don't have some good positives still here. Not everything is negative. And I do want to make that clear. You know, when it just seems like you can't hear anything positive, that's when you got to start pulling yourself back a little bit and saying, listen, is it really all negative? And it's not all negative. But right now we're in the middle of it. Could get worse before it gets better. We'll, we'll just have to see. To kind of add to that flavor on last week, you know, we saw the indices down anywhere from one and a quarter to two percent down. Uh, we saw the 10 year yield, uh, that yield come down. Now, what I mean by that is, and we're just using that as a, maybe a little bit of fear gauge in our in our conversation here, is that when people are fearful, they tend to go towards investments, treasuries, which are government debt for safety. And what's happened, we had the 10-year yield up around 2%. We thought it's going to be going up higher and higher. We still do uh, as the Fed increases interest rates to keep inflation down. Well, what's happened? Yields are dropping because people are fearful of what's going on in the market, geopolitical events. Could that cause stagflation and recession over in the United States, not just Europe and around the world? So they're going to more safe haven you know, assets. Uh, on that safe haven asset, we really saw gold really rise 4% last week. Uh, at the same time, from an inflation factor, I think we saw something that I, I think we, we always need to be concerned about, but we saw wages increase about 5.7, 5.8% uh, last week. And remember, I've always said on these calls, it's very sticky. It's really hard to raise someone's salary and then all of a sudden just decide to cut it, right? Right. Right. Um, one other thing I want to leave our viewers thinking about, right? Bear markets, and we're not in a bear market. A bear market is over a 20% drop. The NASDAQ is right out of bear market, right? We enter a bear market on the odds of almost every 3.6 years, right? And we've had 26 bear markets since 1929. So these aren't uncommon to have bear markets. But a bear market is different than a correction. A correction is over 10%, right? So 10% to 20%, correction, 20% above, bear market. So the indices right now, their Dow, the S&P, probably about a correction territory of 10%. Um, the NASDAQ in some select areas down 20 plus percent. So we've already having a lot of correction in the market internally with those high growth techs, you know, we haven't been a big fan of. Um, we've already had a lot of internal corrections. You throw over, uh, you throw in some geopolitical events on top of that fire. This is what we're facing right now. You know, really some angst in the markets. Uh, we'll just have to see how everything works out. It feels like we're on a roller coaster. We are a bit on a roller coaster at times, but remember, Stacey, this ride does end. <laughs>
It doesn't. <laughs> okay. okay, well, I'm buckling up. Well, thank you so much for that. And thank you to our viewers for joining us this afternoon. And uh, we'll see you again next week for our next weekly wrap up. Thanks. Take care.